Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, <laughs> I didn't forget to film my intro this time. Yay! In today's video I'm obviously going to be continuing on with the Disney Villain series. So today I have picked heads? Hads? Heads? I don't know. I don't know. I have never seen Hercules either. This is obviously his character and his colours. So this is the look that I came up with. I actually decided to go with something a wee bit more wearable today and a wee bit more calm down because I think if I do it every time something that's very very artistic and very out there, Halloween-like. Like, I know it's great for this time of year, but sometimes I still want to try and keep this series a wee bit more wearable as well. So even if I do something crazy like every other time, that's not too bad. So yeah, so he is from Hercules. As you guys can see from his colours, his face and skin is grey, but then it's his hair that I'm kind of mainly focusing on, which is like a dark blue flame going into a light blue flame. Um, I'm not going to do- oh! Don't look at my pictures! <laughs> it's mainly only pictures of me anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm now just going to go off camera and do this eye. Take my time, get a wee bit creative and come back on camera and do this eye. Okay, so what I came up with so far literally just looks like a bunch of like splattered colours. <laughs> Keep in mind I'm not finished just yet but I'm just going to now start on this eye. So I took again the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette. I started off with this shade here. So I'm just going to start by packing this just on my outer corner. So I'm kind of wanting to create a different shape with the shadow so I'm actually bringing it up and round. So I'm actually just going like this. And I'm going to switch my brush and I'm just going to take the shade beside that one which is this one here and it's called Sky. And I'm just going to take that just on a small tapered blending brush. So I'm now just going to go and gently run that shadow just over at the edges. Then I'm going to go into this shade here and this is in the shade Mint. I'm just going to take that just in the exact same brush, just this wee um, tapered blending brush. And taking a Zoeva Luxe pencil brush, I'm just going to take the darkest shade in the palette and it's this one here in the shade Mood. So I'm just going to focus this shade just very tight, just in that corner. Okay, so I'm now going to take a Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette and this is their Flawless Matte 2 palette. This is what the palette looks like here. As you can see, 8% of the shades in this palette look identical. I'm just going to use a mixture between these two here, mainly this one here because it is slightly lighter. And I'm just going to start packing that just on that inner lid space. So in between packing that shade on, I'm just going to take a Luxe Crease Brush by Zoeva and kind of dip slightly into that shade and then just kind of blend that in that inner corner. These are definitely the type of tutorials that I would honestly love to do live with you watching um, so then I could actually interact with these and so you could actually like give me some feedback and like some ideas and stuff because right now I'm kind of at a loss. <laughs> I don't actually know where to go from now. I think now it's time where I'm going to go off camera yet again and I'm going to clean it up slightly and do my base makeup. Okay so I was unsure whether to put a yellow in my waterline or a blue in my waterline. So I know I done a blue yesterday in my waterline but I don't know. I just went for the blue again. So this is the Hypocrisy Eyeliner by Makeup Revolution. Before I start on anything else, I think I'm just going to finish off my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go into that Revenge shade again. <laughs> it's 
So I guess I forgot to press record. The only thing I done, apart from get lipstick on my teeth, um, so yeah, the only thing that I done, I initially was going to go in with the Makeup Revolution um, Awesome Metals eyeshadow in the shade Pure Platinum, but because these are a wee bit out of date and they're a wee bit chunky, I remember that I have a pigment loose eyeshadow from Peaches and Cream in the shade Disco. So this is what I used for the, the inner corner and I think it looks actually not too bad. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Um, I've been loving this wee look good liner recently. It's because of the nib. It's just so easy to create a winged liner. It's just absolutely amazing. So just a wee question for all you girls out there. Do you ever fall out with your boyfriend? Well, not fall out, but do you ever like have a go at him for no reason whatsoever? Like I, in a way, but not in a way. <laughs> um, I fell out with Kyle last night for literally no reason. No reason at all. I was really, really happy with my makeup yesterday because it was the Pocahontas Governor Disney Villains thing. So like I took loads of pictures and put it up on Snapchat and he had rang me at lunchtime and was asking me what I was doing and I was like, oh, I'm filming this tutorial, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, whenever you get home, you have to go on to Snapchat and see it. It was like, 10 o'clock and he still hadn't seen it and I was like that <laughs> I went off on one <laughs> all over the simplified that he didn't watch my snapchat story and while I was given off to him over snapchat he still didn't watch my story and go and see my makeup and that rattled me even more. And then I woke up this morning um, with a text from him being like, I'm so sorry that I don't watch your Snapchat stories. <laughs> and I was like, what? Like by the, because it was such a wee silly tiff, I had completely forgot about it. Like all I wanted was for him to go and look at my makeup because like I was happy with it and I was proud of it. You know, whereas like whenever he buys a silly car or a silly stupid car part or something, or he fixes up a car, he's like, Emma, come and see. You know, and I have to go and be like, ah, that's great, Han. It was so funny, like it was so funny. I don't mind it. What do you guys think? Mm, it's not too bad. I could have done better, but I was definitely wanting to keep this look a wee bit more wearable. If you wanna just wear a blue eyeshadow on a Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, so this is the completed look everybody. Let me know as per usual, like these always do, what you think of this one in the comment section down below. Also let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other Disney villains you would like me to recreate as well. But thank you guys so so much for watching, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be listed and linked down below and... And what? What? What do I always say after that? <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.